Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about a common problem that I see students make when they're, be when they're learning to program. And specifically, this is a problem in C, and it comes when they use the size of macro or operator. I guess it's an operator. Basically, the size of operator, the whole idea is that size of tells you how big a particular data type is. So students often have some block of memory that they've allocated on the heap. They've used malloc, like in this example, you malloc some block that's a certain size for a struct, let's say. Then somewhere later on in the program, they want to actually copy one block of memory to another, and they want to actually reference how big that block is. And so, so someone naturally, hey, we have a size of operator, so let's type in size of P, and let's find out how big that block is. And they put that into their code, and size of P actually doesn't end up doing what they think it's gonna do. And the problem here is that the type of P, in this case, the P is a pointer, right? A pointer is an address. It's a variable type that holds an address that points to a location in memory. Well, if you get the size of that pointer, you're actually getting the size of the address. And on most modern computers, assuming that you're on a 64-bit architecture, that's gonna be 64 bits or eight bytes long. So now you have, every time you say size of P, you're not getting the size of the block, you're getting the size of the pointer. Right, which is gonna be eight every time, or four if you're on an older machine. This ends up causing all sorts of problems. Students think they're copying 200 bytes of data and they're actually copying just eight. So this is something I just wanna point out because I see it happen over and over again. If you are writing code and you're thinking, I need to know the size of this block, then you need to remember the size of the block. You need to record it somewhere. And so sometimes you just have a variable that remembers what the size of the block is. At other times, maybe it makes more sense to actually record the size in the block itself. You might actually say, hey, the first few bytes of this block, I'm going to record how big the block is. And then that, and that's useful if the blocks are all gonna be different sizes. And when you get a block, you need to quickly look up what the size is, then maybe writing it in those first few bytes of the block is a good idea. So in either case, I just mostly wanted to point this out in case you're not aware of it. If you're programming in C and you use the size of operator, you definitely wanna be careful anytime you're using pointers. And remember that the size of a pointer is the size of the address, not the size of what it points to. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you avoid some difficulties in your programming in the future. And until my next video, I will see you later.